Welcome back to AgriJest. Today's question is leak code 17, letter combinations of a phone number. So we're given a string containing digits from two to nine inclusive, return all possible letter combinations that the number could represent. Return the answer in any order. Mapping of digits to letters like those found on telephone buttons is given below. Note that one does not map to any letters. So how do we go about doing that? So we're gonna to have to provide all combinations. So that suggests using something like backtracking to check for all potential solutions. So this is going to be something like an exponential time complexity here. And we just want to do it for the letter combinations. So we need a way of mapping each individual number to their respective letters. And then based on that information, we can start building out our decision tree and find potential combinations. So let's have a look at that. So we start off with the initial digits two and three. We know that two maps to A, B, and C, and three maps to D, E, and F, but our algorithm doesn't. So we're going to have to add some kind of data structure, maybe a map data structure or a simple object within JavaScript to map each individual integer to their characters. And remember seven and nine also contain four characters instead of three. So once that's out of the way and we have this hard coded object, we can then carry out our backtracking solution. So just with any backtracking solution, we're going to need base cases and we're also going to need the recursive relation. So in regards to base case with this, all we're going to be doing is iterating through two and three. This can be of length four, right? But just for example, if we iterate through this and we reach a point where i is greater than the length of digits, that's going to be an initial base case. And we could easily track this with say like a start index of zero. So that's our base case. So if start is greater or equal to digits dot length, then we return up the call stack and we start building our combinations. So if we start off at two, we know two has the characters a, b and c. So this is what the decision tree is going to look like. And at each point here, we now iterate through so we can increment our start index so we're at three. At three, we can take D, E, and F. And this is going to be the same for each of these. So D, E, and F, D, E, and F. And you'll see from this, we have managed to build out all the solutions. And all these solutions can be added to a result array, which we can then return. So a fairly straightforward question in regards to time complexity for the values of seven and nine, there are four characters, right? So like we said, seven maps to P, Q, R, and S. So in regards to time complexity, this is going to be of an exponential time complexity of four to the power of n. And we also need to times this by the length of digits because remember digits in the worst case could be four characters. So we could have seven, 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 and seven. And this would be the worst case. So in regards to time complexity, it's going to be n times four to the power of n. All right, so let's hop into the code and build this out. So firstly, we're going to need a mapping of the digits to the characters. Once we've created that map, and remember, we're going to need an initial index so we can iterate through the digits correctly. So one of the base cases which we didn't mention if digits is equal to an empty string, then we can just return an empty array because that's specified in example two here. So that's the first base case. Second is if start, so the index we created, is greater than or equal to digits dot length. So we're at the end of digits, then we can return. So now that we've carried out the base cases, let's grab the digit, which is going to be digits at the index of start. We also need to grab the letters. So it's gonna be map at digit and then we need to initialize combinations, which is going to be where we're going to be storing all the potential combinations of a phone number. Now we need to carry out the recursive call. So letter combinations pass in digits, and we're going to update the index to start plus one. And we need to store this. So let's store it in suffix combination. So now that we've carried out the recursive calls across all digits, what we're going to be returning back up is the combination of the letters plus suffix. So we need to loop through letters. So const letter letters. We also need to loop through the suffix. So for const suffix of suffix combination, and we just need to combine these and add them into combinations. So combinations.push letter plus suffix. So we've created those combinations. And what do we need to return back up the call stack? Well, we need to return combinations. And this will give us the desired output. So let's run this. Submit it. And there you go. Hope you found this useful. And I'll catch you in the next one.